Hi, I'm Trish. Welcome to the Geek House Kitchen. Today we're going to make a scrumptious dessert called the Lemon Posset. So, let's get down to it. Now, Lemon Posset is a very old English dessert, so we're going to go way beyond retro today to possibly medieval. However, just because it's a very old dessert doesn't mean it's not delicious. It has three ingredients, that's all, and it is incredibly easy to make. I have here 600 mils of double cream, 150 grams of sugar, which sounds like a lot of sugar, and actually it is a lot of sugar, but I have two other ingredients here which are lemons which probably make you realise why we need such a lot of sugar because they can be quite tart. Um, it is a very sweet dessert but it has such a lovely consistency and a lovely mouthfeel and a lovely sort of lemony tang to it that you don't really notice how sweet it is. You make this on a hob so I'll see you in a few minutes. Right, well I've got my hop out, which I've christened Mr Bleepers because it drives me insane bleeping at me. Hopefully, because it's quite a quick recipe, you won't be doing it quite so much today. Anyway, I put the pan on top of my hob and I'm going to light it or switch it on. I'm turning it on to quite a low heat. There we go, not many beeps. Okay, I'm then going to get my cream and pour it into my pan. Now this particular recipe will make four to six possets. Um, they're quite rich, uh, but then they are moorish, so it's quite difficult to know how many to make. Now I've got the cream in, and before it gets warm, I'm going to put the sugar in and stir the sugar before it starts heating up. This is to ensure that you don't get any sugar crystals. It's quite important to dissolve the sugar into the cream before you heat it. Now I just want this to come to uh, a simmer. I don't really want to boil it because that will spoil the cream. Now this may take uh, about a minute. Okay, this is now ready. It's not boiled, but it's just under boiling and all the sugar's dissolved. So, I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes and while it's doing that, I'm going to put away Mr. Bleepers and so I'll see you in a few minutes. So here I have my sugar and cream, which is cooling nicely. And while it's doing that, I'm going to add in the flavouring, which is lemons. I'm going to start off by grating the rind of the two lemons into the cream mixture. The rind actually has the most flavour. It has more flavour than the lemon juice. So it's actually a very good thing to use. The most important thing is not to get any of the white piss in because that's actually quite bitter. So you actually really just want the rind. When I get fed up with that particular lemon, I swap over to this one and then go back to that one after. I don't know why, but it just makes it time seem to go faster when you're ironing them. Go back to this one. And I think I've got most of the rind off now. And I haven't dropped the lemon into the mixture yet, which is always a good result for me. I'll give that a little bit of a stir so it can all infuse. And then we're on to the lemon juice. So, if you roll the lemon, it helps with the juicing. Well, that's what I've been told anyway. I haven't actually got any scientific proof for that, but uh, it does possibly work. So there we go. Now, the most important thing is obviously not to put any pips in. I would guess this is about 75 mils of juice, and you do need to use fresh lemons. Um, if you actually used, you know, a packet lemon, um, like a jiffy lemon or something, I don't think it's got quite the same flavour. I'm going to give that a little stir. Now the lemon's juice doesn't just flavour it, but it also thickens it as if by magic. And there we are. 
thickening already. So we'll put the other one in. Give it a good stir. Now when that cools, that will thicken and it will be the most lovely consistency and texture. In fact, that's probably the best part of the dessert is the texture. So, I'm now going to pour it back into my jug and let it cool slightly. Not for too long though, because it will start setting in the jug while I prepare my glasses. So here we have the lemon posset. I have already tried it on uh, Cook's Perks, but also to check that there's enough sugar in, because uh, different lemons are a little bit you know, tarter than others. This is lovely actually. Not too sweet and not too tart, just nice. So what I'm going to do now is pour it into my glass dishes. Now I'm just going to make four, but this mixture would actually make six if you put it into little ramekins. Here we go, nearly there. Unfortunately, you can't eat this for about four hours, which is going to be really difficult. Because if you eat it before it's had about four hours chilling in the fridge, you don't get that absolutely gorgeous consistency. Um, it's even better actually if you can manage to leave it overnight. So now I've got the posset in the glasses, I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of chocolate over the top, just to give it a little bit of colour really. So you could put blueberries or strawberries on, but I think chocolate's actually really nice with the flavour of lemon. So here I have some nice chocolate shortbreads, which you can find how to make on our checkerboard biscuit episode, which will be linked in the left hand corner. And what I'm going to do now is put three on each posset. So there we have it. Lemon possets with some chocolate shortbread hearts. So thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, please remember to subscribe. See you next time at the Geek House Kitchen. Bye.